Okay, so today we have Cheerios, uh, Taiwan Castella Soda. So, the Cheerio Corporation is a software manufacturer in Japan. Uh, they established themselves in 1963. Uh, they have a variety of drinks ranging from their energy drinks uh, lineup of their lifeguard variety, uh, isotonics, the kind of like Picari sweat like drinks to various teas and coffees. I wouldn't call them a mainstream drinks vendor. You don't see their stuff too often in a vending machine. Uh, maybe sometimes in a convenience store or in a supermarket. Uh, but I guess they don't have, you know, a, a dedicated fleet of vending machines like Coca-Cola or Pepsi or Asahi, whatever. They're probably well known or, you know, most well known for their, you know, uh, original Power Ranger colored like lineup of fruit punch, pineapple, blue cider, melon, and grape. I think they have an old school lineup of drinks that well feel kind of old. Uh, back in the day when drinks were more, much more artificial in color and flavor. This drink seems to be a one-off. Um, it's on its own in a 430 ml bottle, 14 and a half fluid ounces about. Um, so to get into the background of this, apparently it is a Taiwan Castella flavored soda. So uh, you might ask, what the hell is Castella cake? Uh, Castella, it's it's kind of a, a double bastardization of a real food. So back when uh, you know. It technically it's based off of a Portuguese uh, Palo de Castela. Sorry for butch butchering the pronunciation, but it is a sponge cake that the Portuguese brought over um, back when you know merchants traveled by sea to show off their wares. And I guess it was a hit in Japan, and they tried to recreate it, and it kind of evolved into something of its own. It's made. A Castella cake is made out of, you know, eggs, sugar, flour, and a sugar syrup. It has, like, a crunchy top and bottom, but it's really fluffy, light. And, you know, not to get too tied up in a history lesson, uh, it eventually made its way to Taiwan by Japan, when, you know, Japan ruled Taiwan. And similarly, it evolved into something of its own, and I guess in Taiwan they put a, a custard filling inside of it. And apparently this drink is a Taiwan Castella flavored soda. But something tells me this thing doesn't have any eggs in it, but we'll see. Okay. So, as mentioned before, uh, this guy stands alone in that it doesn't have any variants in the lineup. But, you know, if I find something new, I'm sure I'll eventually cover it. So, getting on to the ingredients list. Uh, this guy. Okay. You know, ingredients are listed in descending order. Uh, the thing that's listed first is usually the largest percentage of the drink. Uh, so starting off, we have sugars. Mm, sugar of domestic origin. Uh, high fructose corn syrup. Uh, fructose, fructose. I say fructose. And whoever says anything against that, I say fuck you. Um, carbonation. An acidulant, which is probably preservative to keep it from, you know, going bad. Uh, flavoring and coloring, which is both caramel and yellow number four. So, like I said, no eggs. Alright, so getting on to the caloric information. This guy is a 430 ml bottle, which is about 14, uh, 14 and a half fluid ounces. Um, so in total, this guy is 160 calories, 0 grams of protein, 0 grams of fat, 40-ish grams of carbohydrates, and uh, 0.086 grams of salt. Okay, so, um, you know, I gave you a, a really short history of a Castella, but you might have noticed I didn't say anything about soda, so... Let's see how this guy comes out. Hmm. Well, I don't know. C 
C-3PO colored. <laughs> it's quite carbonated. Looks like kids beer and yeah, you know, it definitely sort of smells like a Costello cake. But, you know, this is an abomination, if you will. Um, okay, so it tastes like sugary syrup, like sugar water, really. Um, Maybe a slight hint of like an eggy kind of like pancake like flavor, a sugary pancake like flavor. Um, but uh, I don't know, you know, it's no, it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> it smells like, do you ever make jello and you pour it? with the sugar already in it and you pour it into a vessel and then you get that wafting sugar in the air that makes everything smell sweet that's kind of like the flavor is of like I don't know like strawberry jello or whatever any kind of jello it tastes like sugary it's got that sugary scent to it um, I don't know does this go with anything? It certainly doesn't go with Costella cake and you know Costella cake isn't carbonated, so that tastes weird. Um, this tastes like just sugar water. We, you know, do with that what you like to do with it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could try eating this with a Costella cake to wash down the, you know, the dry fluffiness of it. But yeah, that just sounds like a recipe for diabetes. All right. Until next time, the drink's on me.